Hey guys, Mark here, Rain and Warriors. Uh, welcome back. You know, folks, uh, first I want to go ahead and just give a quick shout out to all the new uh, new subscribers that have joined the Rain and Warriors family. Um, I love you guys big time. And if you just happen to have landed on this channel, we say welcome. If the message is a, uh, a blessing to you guys, then definitely uh, consider joining the Rain and Warriors family. Love to have you. Folks, um, real quick, just some quick housekeeping. Um, I, as you know, a number of people have seen, you know, have noticed that I haven't been on YouTube as often. And if you have been following me on this channel for a bit, um, we just had, I just, well, I just uh, had a major breakthrough um, as far as a, uh, a huge job opportunity just uh, landed that God has blessed me with. And all glory and honor goes on to Him. Um, but so I'm, I'm still getting a, um, adjusted to the schedule and um, we used to go ahead and post two videos a week but um, I think right now I'm probably gonna have to probably post uh, uh, take it down to one video a week for now um, and that video will probably be released either Mondays or Fridays by by 10 or by noon on Mondays or Fridays uh, so that you guys can go ahead and um, you know just have a better idea of when when when, it, when the video is gonna be released um, and I think we're going to keep it like that from right now until we get, uh, you know, I get um, um, adjusted to the schedule. You know, right now, you know, working full time. Um, so it's it's a little bit, um, what should I say? You know, your, 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 the, amount of, the amount of time that you have to go ahead and shoot videos, edit it, upload it, and all the other stuff um, takes time. So we're going to go and, and go with one video uh, a week. And um, if we bump it up to two, I'll, I'll just let you guys know when that when that when that happens. But we're gonna go with that for for right now until we get adjusted to the schedule. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> uh, beyond that, I wanted to um, I've got a message for you guys today, an encouraging message for for you guys. And for those of you who are familiar with this channel, we've been talking a lot about that. Um, we did a video out there that's called "Entering Into the New." Um, if any of you guys have not heard that video yet, um, I strongly suggest that you guys go ahead and take a look in that video because um, lots of changes are happening, as you guys can see. When you look out there into the world, you're seeing that a lot of changes are happening out there. A lot of changes are taking place out there. But folks, we're not surprised. We've been saying here on this channel that um, a great shaking was coming. And, and folks, we said that you know um, months ago. Um, this is back even prior before 2020 uh, came along. That we've been saying that there's going to be a shaking, there's going to be adjustments, they're going to be um, we're coming out of uh, out of the old. When we came into 2020, we entered into a new. We entered the new. Everything, folks, is that the old way in which we were um, accustomed to, and and all those types of things, the, the way of life that we're accustomed. We've entered into a a. Um, into a new, into the new. Um, and as I said, there's, we've got uh, two videos out there and, and folks, they'll be a blessing to you if you go to, because we, we go into that um, and explain what that, what that means and what that looks like um, in, that, in those videos. So um, I should, yeah, just strongly urge you guys to go ahead and check those videos out. But um, <clears throat> yeah, folks, we are, um, as you guys can see, there are many changes that are taking place, as I said, that are happening out here. But for a number of us, when we entered into 2021, um, you know, 2020 was a, I'll call it, it was a year that um, was unlike any other year that we've, that, that I know in, in, in my lifetime to go ahead and experience. Um, and, um, you know, tremendous test, uh, okay, it was, uh, it, it was a it was a year of testing, a year of, of standing in faith, um, a, a just changes that happened big time, um, and really just trusting and leaning on the Lord, and um, and and it was not comfortable, folks. It was not comfortable. You know, um, a lot of us, you know, were were were, were went through the fire in twenty in in twenty twenty. <laughs> I can I can attest to that. Um, but it made us stronger. It made us, um, 
Um, it built our faith, you know, it increased our faith. Um, it did a lot of good things. You know, the Lord uses these types of things to go ahead and, and, and I'll call it strengthen us internally uh, in him. Um, so I don't take away anything that's happened in 2020 at all. Um, um, I, 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 I look at it from a different perspective now as, as not just looking at, you know, we can look at it from a worldly perspective and say, oh yeah, the coronavirus and stuff like that, just a virus. Let me tell you something. Um, if you're just looking at it just because of the virus, I think you've missed it. <laughs> um, God is, there is, there is moves of God that are happening big time. God is advancing the kingdom, his kingdom. God is advancing his kingdom to word need. You know, there's one person that's seated at the right hand of God. That's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And he's still ruling and reigning over heaven and earth. You know, you know, I know right now, um, when you're looking at the world and you're looking at all this other stuff that's happening here, and man is talking all kinds of stuff, and you know, man wants to be his own God. <laughs> but the bottom line is the person that is whose word is final on all matters that happen here on earth is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He's still ruling and reigning over all things and his kingdom is advancing. Um, and that's the reason why you're seeing, I'll call it, the kingdom of darkness is having a hissy fit, um, you know, and stuff like that because the kingdom of God is advancing big time and the Lord is moving his people, positioning his people into different uh, different um, areas um, and placing his people in different areas um, different assignments and things like that. That's why I'm saying that if you see changes that are happening to your life, you're saying that you're uprooted in this place, and but then your the Lord is placing you in somewhere else or whatever it is, go with wherever the Lord is moving, folks. Wherever the plan that the Lord has for you, go with his plan. Go with the plan of the Lord. Um, um, whatever adjustments that he's making in your life, if there are people that he's snipping off, that he's cutting off in your life, let those people go, folks. Let those people go. Um, God will bring new people um, into your life that will be a benefit and a blessing and an encouragement to you to wherever it is that he's leading you or to the assignment that he has for you. So there's a lot of adjustments that are taking place right now in 2021. Um, but um, I believe that we're moving, um, we we've definitely have moved out of the wilderness of 2020 and going into the promised land of 2021. Many of us already are experiencing tremendous, powerful breakthroughs already. Um, and this is, and we just started 2021, folks. And there's tremendous opportunities that the Lord is opening up for many of us, um, you know, during this very time. And if you haven't seen your breakthrough yet, continue to stand in faith. Continue to believe God. Continue to look to Him because um, your, 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 your breakthrough is coming. Your breakthrough is coming. You're a child of God. Um, I'll tell you, um, be of good courage, be of good courage and continue to trust him, continue to lean on him, continue to pray, continue to seek his face, um, and continue to, to know that the Lord is faithful in whatever it is. But folks, it's not about us. It's not about what we want. It's not about our, our needs. It's not about, it's us getting on his calendar and on his plan. That's what it's about. Um, so, um, I also want to add that um, if there's, if you have experienced your breakthrough already, because um, I know, um, like, like a lot of times we go ahead and we look at ourselves and we say, man, you know, especially if the thing that God has for you is just huge, <laughs> you know, or I'll call it bigger than what you could have expected or you could have imagined, and you're looking at yourself and you're saying to yourself, can I do it? Can I handle it? Is this, it's, this is going to be, you know, uh, can I maintain and sustain all of this? Folks, let me tell you something. Um, any place that the Lord has placed you, and I'm learning this too, though God is teaching me this, he's to, and he's showing me this, I'm sharing this with you guys, that no matter, your, you know, you, you may look at yourself because the world based on everything on people's skill set, their intellect, and all this other stuff. We're in the kingdom of God. And I'm not saying that, you know, that you, you know, education is not important or anything. No, I'm not, that's not where I'm going, folks. That's not what I'm saying. Very important. Those things are very important. But, in accomplishing the thing that the Lord wants you to accomplish. It's not about how educated you are or how smart you are and all these other things. Whatever 
wherever or whatever the Lord has for you or he's calling you to, guess what? He's already gone before you and he's already secured the resources and whatever you need in order for you to be successful in the thing that he's calling you to be. So you don't have to um, worry or be concerned. You know, do I have the aptitude? Do I need to have the this or that? And all the other things that we sometimes we... Um, we look at ourselves and our own ability and we say, and we, and, we, and we try to make a judgment upon ourselves that, you know, can we do this or can we not do it? You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. All things are possible with God. In fact, folks, I just want to read real quick right here on Mark 10, verse 20, 27. You can pull that up in your, in your Bible. It says, and Jesus looking onto them saith, with men it is impossible. Let me say that again, folks. With men, it is impossible, but not with God. For with God, all things are possible. All things are possible with God. And folks, that's my message for you guys today. Is that no matter, um, as God is moving you to the place that he has for you, into the opportunities that he has for you, into that place a breakthrough that he has for you. Do not be concerned and worried that, you know, based on your aptitude, your ability, and your smarts, or whatever the case be, everything in the natural. Remember, this is a spiritual walk that, we're, that, we're, that, that we walk. We walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and put our hope and trust in him. And that, um, and I'm, I'm realizing myself, on a daily basis, I invite the Lord and ask the Lord to help me to accomplish whatever it is that he has me to accomplish, that he wants me to accomplish. And I'm going to tell you, folks, several opportunities will come up. I'm telling you, this year, the Lord spoke to me and said that this is a year to build. This is a year to build. So you don't want to waste time not building this year. Build this year. That, that opportunity, that job, that business, whatever it is that the Lord has for you to do, do it this year. Build it. You know, don't be afraid and 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 get into all you know your own stuff, your own ability, and, and you know, can I do it and all that? Trust God. Trust the Lord. In fact, invite him into every area, every ask for his help. First thing in the morning when you get up, ask him to help. Cast all your cares upon him and ask him to lead, guide, direct you, show you, reveal to you, and guide your steps. Um, and keep your steps from being caught from the hidden traps of the enemy. And, um, and trust me, folks, when you invite the Lord in and you're asking him to help you, you know, our God is a loving and caring God. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I mean, he's waiting for you to help, for you to ask him to help. And I'm realizing, I'm seeing in my own life, man, things, when you're in the will of God, things that you thought, even when you even think that, oh, man, you know, is this, can I do this? <laughs> It, everything works itself out. He works it out. He works it out. Even when you, um, if there's a situation or you, you, you're, you're a lack of understanding of certain things, whatever the case may be, he, he brings it. We are, we're operating off of his wisdom, his knowledge, his understanding, his discernment, his revelation. And, and God knows all things and understands all things. So we're going to have to rely on him, folks, on this walk as we move forward, as we enter into the new. We're going to have to lean on him. Just as Abraham, when he told Abraham to get up and go into the city that he, he, that he would, uh, that he would uh, have him to go. He didn't, give him the, he didn't give him the instruction. He didn't give him a map. He, didn't tell, he just told him to get up, up. And Abraham, he uprooted, left his family, all the people that he knew, all the things he was familiar with, and just went on the bare word of God and went to the place that the Lord would have for him to go. And what happened? tremendous blessing of Abraham. We're all under the blessing of the, the, the blessing that the Lord uh, spoke to Abraham. We're, all, we're, we're a part of that. <laughs> this was huge that Abraham stepped out in faith and he believed God. And folks, no different here. We're going to have to do the same thing. We're going to have to just trust him and believe in him that whatever it is that he's guiding and leading us to, that he has gone before us, but we have the resources to do whatever it is but we're in, like I said, but we're like this with him in our walk and inviting him to lead and guide us each and every day. Invite God into your, into every aspect and every area of your life, folks. Get his help. So I'll end it there. Folks, I love you guys, but 
God loves you more, way more. So our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, <clears throat> like I tell him, wants the best for you. So <clears throat> um, again, uh, I'll leave the videos uh, below. Enter in the new. Enter into the new. That's where we are, folks. Enter into the new. And um, share, like, and subscribe. Um, be at peace. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.